In this unit, we learn the syntax and semantics of sentential logic. The syntax we sort of started actually from a bit of semantics. We talked about things like negation and or and so on, and we just gave them symbols. And then we talked about the other symbols that we are allowed to use, and we developed our notation. And in the semantics section, we really did add and pad out concepts of meaning and truth so that we could bestow semantic properties. Now, to be a bit more precise, what we did was we looked at informal and official notation. And remember, everything in this course, when we're talking about things that can have meaning to them, can't just be a random symbolic sentence. They must be well-formed. That is, they must be an either informal or official notation. From that, we're able to take these well-formed sentences and statements and arguments and sets of sentences and analyze them in terms of their truth. So here we looked at full truth tables and we were able to bestow semantic properties upon these things by looking at the full truth table. But we also realized that we didn't need the full truth table in a lot of cases. And we learned that we could shortcut purely to a single TVA. And that's really nice because sentential logic is truth functional. So it works in this really nice, clean way. So it's just like a little puzzle to solve. Now, this is just a reminder that you do need to, of course, know the semantic properties we're talking about. And it's really important that you differentiate between semantic properties of statements, sets of statements, and arguments, and know that these are unique to the style that you're being presented. From there, we're able to really fully analyze our first order sentential logical statements, and we are able to sort of make these nice connections in terms of meaning and truth beyond just abstract symbols. Moving forward, we're really just going to extend our understanding of syntax and understand our understanding of semantics. With respect to syntax, we actually have to develop a formal system of syntactic manipulation. And so this will allow us to take these abstract symbols and do lots of sort of work with them in sort of a very precise, technical, almost mathematical way. With respect to semantics, we're going to develop an ability to translate our regular English statements in the world to statements that are written in symbolic logic. And so we can take a sentence like the one I'm speaking right now and convert it into a well-formed statement, informal or official notation. And you can see how the, both of these skills are going to be immensely important for us to be able to understand arguments in general.